Hi, I'm Philip Brown. I'm the Bearded Math Man, and I'd like to help you with exponents. It's a very tricky subject, especially when we start getting into division and negatives. So, these are the things we're going to learn in this video. Hopefully, make all of these things obvious to you. These aren't laws or, or rules, they're just consequences of the fact that exponents mean repeated multiplication. So let's get started. Let's take a look at 2 to the 5th. Just consider 2 to the 5th for a moment is 2 times 2 times 2, 5 times, right? Now let's go ahead and divide that by 2. Just 1, 2. And uh, that would be 2 to the 1, correct? So if I simplified this over here, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so those would reduce and I'd be left with 2 to the 4th. So 2 to the 5th divided by 2 is 2 to the 4th. Now we can get a rule here, a shortcut, 2 to the 5th divided by 1 is 2 to the, 2 to the power of 5 minus 1, and that would give us 4. These two things are equal. So that's where, that's where this rule comes from. Now let's consider 2 to the 5th again, but this time let's divide by 2 to the 5th. Of course that equals 1. And if we use the rule that we saw last time, 5 minus 5 is 0, this is 2 to the power of 0, and it equals 1. This would work for any base and any exponent. Provided the bases are the same, this would always be true. So 2 to the power of 0 equals 1. That's true for everything except for 0, but we won't talk about that. Now, let's take a look at what happens if we end up with a, a negative exponent. So like 2 to the 5th divided by 2 to the 6th. So this would be 5 2's in the numerator and 6 in the denominator. They would all reduce except for 1 in the denominator. So you would have 1 over 2 to the power of 1. That would be 2 to the 5 minus 6. So again, it's the numerator's exponent. Uh, minus the denominator's exponent. So 5 minus 6 is negative 1. So 2 to the negative 1 is 1 over 2. When you have a negative exponent, it's a reciprocal. Now, negative means opposite. The opposite of repeated multiplication, which is what exponents are, is repeated division. So that's another way to think about this. Now, what if you have an exponent that's negative and it's already in the denominator? Well, it turns out that's division of division. It's like a complex fraction. And you're going to end up multiplying by the reciprocal. I'm going to take a look at just that denominator, just the expression in the denominator, 2 to the power of negative 2. So what this really means, it means, it means 1 divided by 2 squared. That's what this is, that's what this means right here. There's really an invis there's a 1 being multiplied by this. So this is 1, and it's being divided by 2 twice. That's what negative 2 as an exponent means. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this expression with what it's, e what it's equal to. Now what I have right here, I can see that it's this is the numerator, and it's being divided by 1 over 2 squared. And the way I divide by a fraction is, of course, to multiply by its reciprocal. There you go. Hmm. That one's really tricky. It's counterintuitive. So give yourself a moment to, to let that sink in. Okay, so what I've shown you so far is where all four of these things come from. So I hope that you don't see them as laws or rules, but you actually see uh, that they come from a consequence of exponents being repeated multiplication. So sit back and check this out. This is Sputnik the uh, Hedgehog. He's taking his little bath right there. Uh, with Sputnik, we're going to take a look at eight uh, expressions that are all very similar that use these rules or these properties of exponents that we're learning in this video. So here they are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to take a look at a couple of them in detail and, and then we're going to get a little faster and faster. But uh, here are the eight. And if you're brand new to exponents and division and negative exponents and all that kind of stuff, these might look like they're all the same, but they're very different. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one right here. A to the 12th divided by A to the 6th. Well, using this uh, rule right here, this would be, I think I prefer the term shortcut, but anyway, it would be 12 minus 6, the numerator's exponent, and then you subtract the denominator's exponent from that, 12 minus 6 is 6. So you could also write it out. If you forget everything about exponents except for the fact that exponents are repeated multiplication, you could write out 12 a's in the numerator, and 6 in the denominator. Those would reduce to make 1, so it would be 1 times a to the 6. You could do it that way. Or, if you wanted, you could also do this. Do you see? 
Uh, a to the six times a to the six is a to the 12. A lot of times students are baffled. Where'd you get these two a to the six? Well, I got it because if that's, I could break this apart, a to the 12th, I could break apart into a to the six times a to the sixth. And the reason I might want to do that is because well, look what I have in the denominator. And I could just reduce and I'd be left with one times a to the sixth again. So our first one is a to the sixth. Let's go ahead and take a look at our second expression. a to the sixth divided by a to the twelfth. Now using this rule again, it'd be six minus twelve, which is negative six. And as we saw a minute ago, uh, this is repeated division, so it's one divided by a to the sixth. Let's take a look at that another way. Uh, using a trick I used in the last one, I could break this twelve, this twelve a's into two groups of six and reduce, and be left with one over a to the sixth. Either way, I end up with one over a to the sixth. So let's go ahead and look at the third one. Now here, if we used our, our shortcut, it would be a to the power of 12 minus six, which is negative 18, and a to the power of negative 18 would be repeated division of a 18 times. And we could write that like this. Or if you wanted, you could separate this. Do you see a to the 12, a to the negative 12 divided by a to the six would be the same as a to the 12th times 1 over a to the 6th. And this, I could take its reciprocal. I could go ahead and take care of this and write that as repeated division. And then you see I have 1 over a to the 18th. The way I actually see these problems right here is I say, oh well, I got 6 in the denominator and I'm going to have 12 more. That's 18 in the denominator. I do something similar to this, but I don't write it out. I just see it. And I would hope that after you understand these pretty well, you can do that with confidence and accuracy as well. All right, so there's our third one. Let's go ahead and take a look at number four. Number four, if we use this shortcut again, it's going to be a to the power of negative 12 minus negative six. And this is where people mess up. There's a minus in this little shortcut right here. It's the top minus the bottom. Now the, the denominator happens to be a negative six. That negative six does not replace the subtraction sign. So this is going to become addition. And then, of course, negative 12 plus 6, negative 6, and you can rewrite that. Well, you actually need to rewrite that as repeated division. Another way you could write it is uh, you could separate the two like we did in the last example, and you could take the reciprocal of each, put them together, and subtract. And you're going to get 1 over 8 of the 6, which happens to be one of the first ones we did. You see? Right here. So, these two are the same. These two right here are the same. And I bet when you first looked at that screen, you might not have seen that those two would be the same. But I hope you see why they are now. So let's take a look at the next one. A to the negative 6 divided by A to the 12. So the way I see this is I've got division of 6 A's written here in the numerator. And the way I write division is by putting it in the denominator, and I already have 12 there. So I'm going to go ahead and write it like this, and then I'm going to have 18 a's in the denominator. Or you could use the rule like this. 6 minus 12 is 18, so you have a to the negative 18, and then you could rewrite that as division. Well, there's that one. Turns out, these two are the same. But, again, when you first saw this, you might not have recognized it. But do you see? There's 6 in the denominator, and there's 12 in the numerator, but those are dividing, so those are going to go to the denominator, and 6 and 12 is 18. Works the same for both. Okay, now we've got three left. Of the three, which two do you think are the same? Just by thinking about these as I've kind of described. Let's go ahead and take a look at all three at the same time here. All right, so this one here is a to the sixth because, uh, well, you could do the shortcut, or the way I see it is I'm going to have 12 on top, 6 on the bottom, and that reduces to a to the 6th. And we have these two that are actually the same, both are a to the 18th. So those two are the same, and of course, these two are the same. So when we first started this, I bet you didn't see that the there were actually 1, 2, 3, 4 pairs of equivalent expressions, um, just the way that they're exponents were written with negative signs kind of made them not look the same but yep they are the same so I, I'm hoping that that helped you to recognize how negative exponents work now to simplify an exponent you cannot have a 
negative exponent here. So, and where you might get tripped up is this base is negative, and we have a negative exponent, and you know that a negative times a negative is positive. However, you're not multiplying this exponent with the base. If you're going to think about multiplying, you're multiplying this base's exponent with this exponent. And this base has an exponent of 1. So this one right here is just equal to negative 1 over 27, or 1 over 3 to the third power. Let's go ahead and take a look at the next one. The next one is 2 to the negative third to the negative fourth. Now I would multiply those two together and that would give me a positive 12. 2x to the negative 2y to the negative third. Well, the 2 has got a positive exponent of 1. And these other two, those other two terms, they're both dividing because they both have negative exponents. So they are they are going to be rewritten as division in the denominator. And this one is going to be in the numerator. So th this one here, 5 to the power of 1, that's just multiplying by 5. This is dividing by x to the third, so that's going to be written in the denominator. And this one is dividing by y squared, and so the way you divide by a fraction is you multiply by its reciprocal, so it's going to be in the numerator when you're all done. Now this one here, 5 to the power of 0 is 1, and this is dividing, and it's already in the denominator, so you're going to multiply by its reciprocal. The shortcut is you move it to the numerator. There you go. Last one. Now again, where people get mixed up all the time is they see a negative base, and they're like, oh, we can't have negatives. And what they would end up doing is writing a positive 5 in the denominator. But it turns out that this it will stay the same, and I have to move this b to the negative third to the numerator because I'm going to be, I will be multiplying by the reciprocal, and boom, done. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned a lot about exponents, negative exponents, why anything to the power of zero is one. And if you did, you can really help me out. You really encourage me to make more. If you click like and subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, let me know how it went. And, um, well, you could also visit my website, thebeardedmathman.com, for some practice problems and great coverage of lots of other topics.